Hi guys, Hi guys, Jake and Marissa, back Hi again for more live reactions to This is Kids Who Sentai, Pastor Ranger. Pew pew, pew pew pew. Alright, so um... Good morning. Good morning, we're doing a, an early morning recording, uh, it's because we weren't feeling that well last night, and earlier in the day yesterday we had super loud lawnmowers going on out Yeah, they, they just did not stop. For like for hours. For like hours. It was very strange. They were just, they were really mowing the lawn. But I, I do wonder how it took them so long. They had ride-ons. Yeah. Like big, wide ride-ons. The, I, the I lawn th is I not think, that big. I think they were just doing the whole complex, and they're just ridiculously loud. No, I get that they were doing the whole complex. I still don't understand how it took them that many hours on ride-ons. No, fair enough. Uh, maybe they were, maybe the, we were hearing weed whackers as well. Not sure. Um, and, uh, let's see. They had two ride-ons. Yeah. Not too many developments since our last live reaction, since uh, they're a little closer together than they usually are this but time But only around. by a little, because we're doing it this morning and not last night. Yeah, true. But even then... Air Plus came to Pokemon Go! Uh, for Android. Obviously, you iPhone users have had it forever. Okay, cool. Um, also, we I, uh, released a um, quick video Reminding people to get ready for voting. Vote. Yeah, with a little breakdown. Whichever like, side you're voting for, vote. Vote. Um, just try and make it an informed decision. And I mean, know I'm sure where you, you have where feelings you about how we'd like you to vote, but either way, vote. Yeah, because uh, that's coming up in now it's less than two weeks. Duty. So very exciting. All right. So I'd say without uh, without moment, much delay. Yes. Since Let's it, get since into the episode. I want to see why they're intense. I was. I've been wanting this since last week. So we're go we're going we're going to. In case we have any uh, new viewers, specifically ones who I already mangled Spanish to over the weekend, I apologize in advance for mangling Japanese. <laughs> but yes, we we anticipate that this that this uh, episode is going to be much like Supermodels camping. Pretty intense. Um, so, let's kick off episode 37 of... Kaito Sentai Luber Ninja. Versus Keizu Sentai Pat Ranger. Your place to return. And... Come on. And play. Magical sound. There we go. I love that sound. People running and screaming. Oh, the first you love the sound of people running and screaming? No, the magical sound. Which is funny, because the first sentai I actually Such went a weird looking... This out of my whole way place is my turf. ...to yeah. watch on my own was actually a, um... was actually meant... Yeah, Doga. Magic Ranger, so I thought the magic sound was specific to Magic Ranger. Yeah. Because it is very magic. There you go. Hey. Hey, we're the thieves everyone's talking about. Go, 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 go. The whole look of his head being basically the rib cage of a skeleton is very strange. Well, he's also got a, another head sticking out the top. Yeah. A skull. Yeah. Part of, part of this aforementioned skeleton. Yeah. So is his head the head that's sticking out, or is his head the rib cage? I think his head is inside the rib cage of the random skeleton on his head. It's very strange looking. He's got big crab pictures. Good kick. Good height. I love this. We got jazz music. And here comes the big man. Yeah. Why? Just, just stop. Just stop the game. Just focus on that. Oh, stop it. Why are you engaging the loop? It gets, it gets old every time. It really does. Gangler first. Pete Ooh, second. Nice. A little, little, little much on the property damage there, but still nice. Look, the Baba Angels took out an entire... Wow, he's doing a good job using those poor men to cover. Highway overpass, so I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, the, and, and the skeleton has green hair too, which is very strange. Yeah, it 
Yeah. What is happening? Oh! Now he's thinking with portals! Yes, he is. He's like the spot from Spider Man. I'm amused how all the Power Rangers got hit, but. None of the Lupin Rangers. Yeah. Well done, Lupin Rangers. Oh! Oh! And. See, he's back. Remember okay. what I said Whoa. when we were watching Power Rangers? The cat is. It's so bad, even the cat's not here. Whoa, what did that portal just. I don't know, do? because this one had his tail on my face. That sends them home. Interesting. They didn't go through the portals or anything. It just sent them. Oh all yeah, we've flying. seen his apartment before. Yeah. Adorable. Fluffy pet. I'm so sorry. Wow, she's got a collection. Wait, where's Kyrie? Where did Kyrie? This is my room. Not just your room, it's your apartment. Mysterious it's treasures house. left by the Phantom Thief, Austin awesome Lupin, known as the Lupin Collection, have been stolen by the ganglers, the thieves who fight to recover what they've lost, the police who fight to protect world peace. Whose side are you on? Yami no nakade. Futeki ni wa aru. Catch me if you can, Destiny. Yoko Kusaru. Onto no. Uchi wo. Rika hi suru. Mono dake ni kari. Hanatsu. Mongai fuchutsu no collection. Hold up, Lupin. Carry me bow. Chase you up. And now I've made it uncomfortable for Oliver. I think I'm done. sorry, baby. I bounced him a lot. Why you bouncing? Why you bouncing? I bounced him to the song. Why are you bouncing him? He's not Frankie. I know. Forced leave beam sends Kylie troublemakers home. Their home. But where is Kylie's Kylie's still there. Interesting. He has not internalized her as home. He doesn't have a home. Yeah, well he well the others internalized your his home it seems, but he does not. Right, but even if he didn't, you'd expect him to go back where he did consider home. But wherever he Oh, lived, he just sent himself home. Wherever he lives wherever he lived before, he no longer considers that home. Yeah. But he also like you said. Interesting. It's a little strange. So it is sort of what we thought. Wow, he is committing. Wow. Right, because he's got to not have a home to go back to. Right. Oh, he lives in the dorm. That's why he said, this is my room. Yeah. Right. So glad you didn't ask me to repeat. Campus 
Uh oh, Hindi. Really? They all. They're all camping in the same spot. Well, how many camping spots are there in cities? I have no idea. Probably not many. Hence. Really? <laughs> He's just rolling with it. Why does Toma have a yellow tent? Why does Toma have a yellow tent? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they okay. both have yellow tents. Oh, this is blue, isn't it? Why don't you find your home? Yeah. He doesn't want to ask the question. Especially right now. Right now is not a good time to ask the question. Yeah. Don't make him feel at home right now. Yeah, see, there's this blue one. Oh, I think Kyrie is... I think uh, Umika is inside his right now. Unless, Small tent is Umika's. So she's in the blue tent and he's in the yellow tent? Hers is yellow on the front. Oh. And one's like a yellow teepee. Yeah, that's Thomas. Interesting. They're, they're swap. Nice. Hers is yellow on the front. Okay. It's a bicolor tent. Mm. Oh, she's not actually in there. It's just the wind. I think she is in the yellow tent. As she should be. She was sitting in front of the blue tent before, so I thought it was hers because it's smaller. The blue and yellow. It, it does have yellow trim Fair on enough. the front near the zipper. Really? I remember this one time Kyrie looks sad. How did you get that for the one time he looks sad? He was having a bad day one time, and therefore I have insight. Yeah. Fair enough. But for now, I'm going to my tent. Also, just him in his suit camping is really. Yeah, why is he not in more casual clothes? Oh I don't my god. I know goodness. if he has more casual clothes. Okay, so he put his tent literally. Oh, because he, he has to bring his tent everywhere with him so that he's homeless. Yeah. Really? Really? Okay, so this is how we ended up with the tent in Jura. This is a, a little strange. Yeah. That chair is normal. That's a child's chair. That is a child's chair. I'm I didn't sure know we were friends. friends. No. The subtitle didn't say friend, but I distinctly heard Tomodachi. I thought it did. I said friend. Maybe it was in the first part of the sentence. Yeah. Because of grammar. Alright, bye. You are way too invested in, in, in their lives. They were slacking? Yeah, that's it. This children's chair does match his tent. Hmm. Okay. I'm actually a little amused by the flashbacks just because it's like, hey, we do have continuity, see? 
He's gonna get snapped at. Yep, we're shoved. Yeah, he does not like. He does not like that. Oh no! Now he's reminding me of his brother again. He shoved him like he shoves his brother. He's very, he's very uncomfortable right now. Please leave. Just here to work. What is this? Oh, really? Really? Get Tro's coming back. Toma, you, you kind of, you kind of messed up on this one. <laughs> really? I wonder if the Uvipan Rangers are gonna have a problem where they still get knocked back to Juru because they never moved out. Hmm. Well, duh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's sad. He's like, I thought I made a friend. Oh, we're going to have flashback to her conversation now? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to flash back to her conversation. Okay, here we go. We got the monster back. Gotta bring your tent. So well, stay at the ho at the at the at the, at the, at the police office. We don't need you getting shoved all France. the way to France. Oh, yeah. Why do you have a green-haired skeleton for a head? It's so strange. Are, are you out of order? I guess he's out of order, man. There we go. No, no, no else here. Hopefully he'll be okay. Hopefully, hopefully the... He is still wearing his tent, so he's got nowhere to go. Oh, he might, he might get sent to Jurek, if I recall correctly. He was staying at Jurek, wasn't he? Also possible. But I'm, I'm concerned so what we've got to on, because they didn't really move out. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Yep. Now go home. Oh, he's blocking it. Is it working? Hey, it's working. There we go. He's wearing the tent. Okay. Uh, he's blocking everybody with him. Okay, he's got them covered. They need to shoot. Ooh. Oh no, it's going in the holes. Oh, uh, that's sneaky. Coming back at them. He's doing a good job with those portals. They've got their own tents right now. Who else got this one? There we go. Those are batons, not swords. So yeah. Not really. 
they still function as swords. I thought there was a lot of swords. I don't know. Like, I feel like that wouldn't be that helpful. Yeah. Oh, that's what he means. He's got the collection piece. Yeah, exactly. That's what I assumed he was doing. What is that? Oh, that's the Rhino Morpher from Jungle Fury. Oh, cool. Or, I think, a mini version of it. Doobie. Doobie doobie doobie. Oh, uh, he's not doing so well. Except for there we go. I mean, he has been fighting with a tent on his back this whole time. Well, he's also gotten stabbed in the hut. There we go. Yep, probably. 
Maybe not with the tent. Yes, sir, ma'am. He does not want to talk to you, generally speaking. Now you know why none of us know. Yeah. <laughs> you got on his bad side. No. Nope. I'll keep an eye on him. We don't see the back of uh, Jira very often. Interesting. It's a bit of a sad ending there. <laughs> yeah. In space! Seriously? Oh, his amigo's back next time, it looks like. Now that's something we could use. Interesting. Oh. Continuity. Looks like next time we're getting a, a new major Zord, a power up for Noel. His amigo's back, Destra's in battle, everybody's. Go to Noel space. Noel looks like somebody should be riding on him with those things sticking out of him. Those those do look a little bit like uh, like handlebars. handlebars. Yeah, or triggers or something. I don't know what's going on there. But he look he looks like he's he's welcoming you with the little. Yeah. All right. So that was something approaching a a, a character development episode. Although we didn't really resolve anything. We just sort of mostly acknowledge that uh, Kyrie has issues. Kyrie has issues regarding his brother. That seemed to, you know, I, I, I feel like that's going to come to a head by virtue of them reminding us of his issues in the past. They seem to be pushing that a little bit farther. Yeah, they don't seem to remind us about Umika and Thomas people as often as they do about Kairis. Yeah. And I think it's because Umika and Toma both very much cared about and loved and had a very clear feelings about the person they lost, whereas Kairi is he was pretty a little, ambivalent. Yeah, he's, his feelings are a bit more mixed because of the way that things ended. Like they, And also because of their relationship. Yeah. Their relationship in general. Sibling well, relationships are... Tumultuous. Well, uh, on top of everything else, you know, th it ended on a fight. Yeah. And he's he's still very uncomfortable about that, apparently. Um, whereas for the others, like, it's just a sad thing. Yeah, there, they lost someone. Yeah. But he's got all kinds of extra baggage. But they, lo they lost people while they were still on good terms, which is a little bit different. So. Yeah, there's no, we'll never get to make up kind of worry. Um... Why do I keep yawning? Oh, yeah. I also find it interesting that we didn't, uh, that we didn't actually really dis- at no point did the characters really end up discussing, uh, how he doesn't feel like Jura is his home. They almost did, and then they chose not to, which seemed like the right Made choice at the, the time. time. because otherwise- But then we didn't, we didn't get any sort of, uh, wrap-up on that that would, It doesn't uh, seem like he's receptive it. to that kind of conversation. No, it doesn't. And, I mean- I mean, I could see him- to an extent, be willing to talk about it a little bit with Toma and Umika. Just Maybe. obviously not Keijiro. <laughs> like, if, if they were to just sort of ask at the end, he might make a flippant response. But probably a less hostile one than he would be with yeah, It would be less hostile, but I feel like it would also be equally as uninformative. Well, fair enough. He would brush them off in a more polite way. True, but I feel like it would have given us a uh, little bit more insight into his feelings on the subject. Possibly. Um, but, uh, yeah, he, he, he's definitely had enough with Keiichiro. Oh, Keiichiro. yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, Keiichiro. Um, I told you I was going to handle Japanese. I feel like that's, but it does feel like something that's going to be touched on again before we wrap up this series, which we're getting, you know, we're getting into towards the end of it. There's maybe a dozen episodes left, I think, at this point. Um, and now, apparently, we're getting, we're getting a battleizer, so, uh, 
who knows what other power-ups we might have left to go. Um, or if that power-up's just going to be exclusive to Noel. Um, but I'm looking forward I to I wouldn't blame them if it was exclusive to Noel because he is sort of an outlier character, so if his yeah. stuff doesn't share well with others, that would make some sense because he's simultaneously a Pod Ranger and a Lupin Ranger. Right, exactly. A Pod Ranger and a Lupin Ranger. Um, the monster had some cool abilities this week. That Go was fun. home! I feel like there may be something we were missing um, in the in the translation. You think so? Mostly because not only did he send people home, yeah. but he also kept going on about how this was his turf when he showed up. Yeah. And I feel like there may have been some nuance to the... Um, to the to the language that might have implied that he was claiming it as his home yeah, exactly. and kicking people out. Yeah, that seemed to be sort of what he was going for there. Yeah, but since they use turf, which is a little bit more of a a territory thing rather than yeah. a domicile thing. Right. It, I think something may have gotten lost in translation there. I'm not entirely sure, but I get the feeling of that and part of that I think does have to do with, once again, the subtleties of the language. Because, right. for example, like, there are different ways of saying things for I have come home, I have arrived versus I have arrived in my home. Okay. Interesting. It's, it's, yeah, it's I'm, du I'm double checking to see if there's any, uh, if there's any further details. <coughs> I just realized this. Well, his, his name was uh, Yadaga Gohomu, and it's like... Gohomu! <laughs> it's, it's actually Gohomu. Um, but yeah, I was just double-checking to see if there was any further insight into why his... Uh, why he had a skull for a head, mostly. Yeah. But no, it just says, you know, he's based off a hermit crab. Not just the skull for head, or not just a uh, not just a skeleton for the head. I mean, but uh, but a green haired skeleton. Why a green haired skeleton for a head? That was such a strange thing. Okay, so uh, Tadaima. That's okay. what I was thinking. Is I'm back home. However, the literal translation is just now. Well, it would be awkward in English to say just now when arriving home, but in Japanese the phrase means I just came home. And it's a shortening of the phrase Tadaima Kashirimashita, which means I just came home. Yeah. Um, so, like, even though, of course, because it just means, you know, just now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally, when it gets translated a lot of the time on uh, other things, it's just like I'm home or whatever. Right. But apparently it's a bit more, um, I, because it's a shortening of I just came home. Yeah. In media that I've seen, the first time someone says it about a given domicile, you know, it's kind of when they, when they have taken it as their home. Okay. You know, that you might return to a place where you're living and not say that. Yeah. Because it wasn't your home. Right. And then you do because it is your home. Yeah. So because they've got that subtlety of language, yeah, it's entirely possible that we're missing something with the hermit crab going, this is my turf. <laughs> entirely possible, yes. It's a complicated language. There's a lot of, um... Yeah. Well, it's like, you know, when you say later to somebody, it means, I I'll will see you later. later things yes. like that. Um... But because Although they have so many ways not of so saying many connotations. the same, I was going to say they have yeah. so many ways of saying the same thing. There are a lot of connotations yeah. depending on which way you say it, all right, the different exactly. formalities and stuff like that. Yeah, that that we don't have. I do find I do find it interesting that uh, uh, good cool ex Kaiser um, <laughs> was uh, is is being treated a little bit more casually this episode. They're starting to get used to it. They did not, you know, like, freak out intensely over it. They're just like, hey! Oh, we're doing this again? I didn't sign up for this. Kichiro. 
And everybody's like, we're, we're here now, let's just let's do just it. Let's just do it. So I thought that was nice. Yeah. Especially considering earlier on they, like, were attacking the Lupin Rangers. Instead of as the As usual, for no reason. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a thing they do. Um, but yeah, it, it, it does seem interesting that they, they the are very much focusing on, uh, I Kyrie's character I can't believe I missed that for, for this, the entire for episode, that the, the hermit crab was named the Homo. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did, I did too. Well, it was his last name. Because, because they always have a first name, last name. Um. You sure it wasn't his first name? I'm not, because I'm Japanese not. do that thing where they call people by their last name. Yeah, I know, but I also well. don't know. I also don't know which order it was. Name, if they do know them very well. The thing is, I'm not. I I didn't. I wasn't listening closely enough to be certain if they were writing in the same order that they were that he was saying it. Yeah. So it could have gone anywhere. Ah, first and last names, especially when they've been transliterated. Now you're like, did they also flip them, or did they? Didn't might they? Have. I'm not sure. Because when people write them down... I haven't paid close enough attention to exactly what they're saying during the subtitles. To, right, because they'll notice. be like Shinji Ikari. Yeah. But that's because we would put the family name second. Right. Really, it should be Ikari Shinji. Yeah. So, Ikari, while being the first name, is also the family name. So, is Gohomo his family name or his name? Oh. Ah! We should have been paying more attention. Not really. <laughs> or we should find out... You know, you know what? With the characters, do they... The characters we do know, like Toma or Kichiro or whatever, are they forwards or backwards? They're American style. Then it's probably American style. Um, unless they refer to each other by their last names, which they might. Not likely? Well, with Kichiro... Is that his first name or his last name? I guess that's probably his first name. That does look I'm pretty more, sure. I think that is first no, name. No, see, look, it's Yano Kairi Yomachi Toma. Oh, okay, okay, so they, do, so they do flip it, but it looks... Oh, but he is Asuka Kichiro. Yeah, yeah. So they are calling him by his last name. No, oh, no, 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 you're right, no, you're right, these are, these are first names. Oh, right, Yeah. okay, yeah. It, it's still consistent. We're, we're looking at a cast list real quick, just to kind of make sense of that. Yeah, no, they're, they're but all interestingly, kind of first names. But uh, interestingly, Yadagar Gohoma is, is still Yadagar Gohoma in both versions. In both versions. So, so maybe I guess don't have is, family names, they just know. have a, a, a two-word name. I don't know. I don't know how that, how that structures, really. Uh, which, which one's supposed to be his first name versus his last name. If ganglers even have family names. Yeah, because they have they have the they have the two name structure. I'm not 100 percent sure if that's the same thing. Um, but yeah, I feel like there wasn't too much to really dig into this episode. We kind of addressed. That seems to be happening a lot with. Uh, well, that? well, unless we get off on a uh, on a tangent, which we tend to do. Yeah, no, I meant like Lupat itself. The well, analyses yeah. really only have what we bring to the table because it's not that deep. Well, I mean... It, but it's fun! It's fun. Uh, it's so much fun! It's all, I think also uh, Sentai in general has a little bit less... I, I feel like individual episodes of Sentai often have a little bit less to discuss versus individual episodes of Power Rangers. But that's partially because... Um, we're we not... We have 52 episodes. Well... It, it's not like each individual episode is shorter by virtue of there being more. No, but they don't have to pack as much of their arc plot in to each episode. Well, it's also not like Ninja Steel has that much plot. Fair enough. I think it's more so just that uh, we don't have the adaptational aspect to, to review. That's true. And uh, they have less of a tendency to do the A plot, B plot structure of... Yeah, no, um, they've, they've got an A plot and we're done. Yeah. They're, they're much more targeted in their plotting. Um, I really like the music this week. I don't know if I've not noticed that before, or but during that one fight when they had the smooth jazz, I yeah, liked that. It's good times. Um, but yeah, since there's not too much else to, to go over with this one, 
Um, I think we're, we're pretty good to wrap up. Uh, I'll, I'll continue letting you guys know if, uh, if there's any new developments with, uh, with the next episode of Power Reviews, um, or, if, or any other videos upcoming. Um, hopefully I can get, get a trailer soon. I want to see how I'm doing on this one effect, and I want to see how I'm doing with, uh, with the last few, um, uh, pickup shots, hmm. uh, during these next few days. So, uh, so yeah, I think that's a wrap for us this week. That is a wrap for us this week. So, until next time, farewell, yeah, Ranger fans, and let, let the power protect, protect you. And I am going to be on time for work today. Congrats!